so welcome back to the channel. Um, I don't usually do things like this, but this is a beginning. This is a new year for me in 2020, and I really wanted to highlight a couple new things. Um, I don't want to just do time-lapse videos anymore. Like I said in my introduction to 2020 video, I want to start doing some new stuff, some new videos, some stuff you guys haven't seen, kind of explain what I do, and uh, kind of give you a better idea of the products I'm using, um, I'm not endorsed, I'm not sponsored by any of these products, but they're just products I enjoy using. So today I wanted to do a really cool video on um, something Golden um, makes. <clears throat> and Golden makes, <clears throat> excuse my voice, acrylic paints for artists and uh, they're top of the line product. I mean, you can't, you can't argue that. Any acrylic artist will tell you Golden's probably the top end to go to, that and Liquitex. Um, but they have these really cool options. Um, I have two here that are called interference. Um, I'll show those to you. And then this one here is uh, iridescent pearl fine. What I want to do in this video is kind of show you what I'm doing with these. Um, it's not a product that I use a lot, but when I do use it, I'm super impressed how it works, how it mixes with other colors, and how it gives you a really cool effect. Um, I paint a lot of fish. Um, that's my main thing. That's something I really enjoy painting. So when I paint fish, you usually see like some iridescence in their scales. And that's what this interference kind of does. I'm trying to tilt it so you guys can see that kind of reflection. You'll see it more here than anywhere else. But um, it gives it kind of a sheen, it kind of a shine. So in this video, what I'm going to do is give you a couple examples of paintings. Of course, that one. Um, this is a trout painting that I've done that has a little bit of iridescence in it. It's, it's really hard to see inside, but um, I at least wanted to introduce you guys to the product and show you, you know, what I like to use it for. I'm gonna do a couple mixes of it with different colors, and then I'm gonna show you what it's like by itself. So stick around, and let's see what this stuff does. All right, so here we go. I've got some colors laid out on the side, and then I've got my iridescent green, um, well, interference, interference blue, and then I've got my iridescent pearl white. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a dab of three going out and then we'll mix it with each color. They'll look very similar as we go, but you'll see subtle differences in each one that'll really kind of give you an idea of maybe what you can use this in your painting for, you know. We'll go all the way down here. <clears throat> and then we'll go all the way down here. We'll... All right, so those are there. Now I'm gonna start adding color to these. And what we'll do is just mix a little bit of teal into that. A little bit of teal into that. A little bit of teal into that. Once I'm finished mixing all these, then I'll go over them and show you each one as, each one so you can get a good look really close at what they look like. This purple's really, really vibrant. You really don't need much to mix with it. All right, the last one is the one I'm super excited about. Um, I just recently figured this out myself and it was a nice little experimentation going through. And this is bone or carbon black. And when you mix black with this interference color, it really kind of gives it, I gotta add a little more interference to the first one it actually adds a shine of whatever color is in it to the black. So the black's not just this dark overriding color anymore. All right, so I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna put the camera close so you guys can see what each one looks like. Are. This is the interference green fine. This is the interference blue fine. And this is the iridescent white pearl. And these colors down the side here are phthalo turquoise. This is Prussian blue dioxazine purple, and carbon black. So the carbon black mixed pretty well. It gave us a nice green with like a shine, a nice blue with a shine, and then kind of a pearlish black. And then as we go up as well. So as you guys can see, it gives it like this nice reflective kind of shimmer shine to it. And that's pretty cool when you're working with fish scales and stuff like that. Um, you should be able to see it here slowly and some of that, especially right here on the top. And then also with this piece, You'll get that shine. 
So thanks for tuning in. And if you get a chance and you want to try something new or you do underwater stuff, these are definitely going to be some products you want to try. Thanks for checking it out. So thank you guys so much for joining in. I'll take a picture of these so you guys can see the exact package and what it looks like. I'll see if I can post some links down in the description of where to get these, maybe on Amazon. And uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you try them out. Thanks for checking it out. Good night. Thank you.